ask you <coughs> to pay attention to the new technology which we want to prepare, uh, pre propose. Uh, you can see is that first of all we change the. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. It was my mistake. Uh, we try to propose the a new type of uh, lithography, photolithography, which will be especially interesting for production IC, MEMS, and sensors. That lithography, that is a holographic lithography. Because of that, you are able, with help of that lithography, get uh, three-dimensional images, if it's possible, in many cases, in, uh, in projection lithography, you are able to have only 2D images. We use for that, and develop for that unique mathematical apparatus. We can um, generate the <clears throat> uh, also generate the topology, even two-dimensional topology, which is impossible to produce with uh, projection lithography. And we also offer much lower cost of uh, ownership. And that is our uh, I, that is a comparison of. Traditional, topo uh, tr traditional lithography and ours. You can see immediately that we have no lens at all. We don't need it. Because our mask, holographic mask, combines the all function of a mask and lens. We don't need a lens. That gives us a lot of perspective. And I, I also want to tell you that our uh, illuminator, which we use to, uh, to put the light on the mask, is much more simple. Only six lenses instead of 15 or more in projection lithography. Uh, what, is, um, uh, what is our advantages? First of all, I want to tell that um, now projection lithography exhausted its potential. It's connected with two things. First of all, technology became extremely complicated. Second, it became extremely expensive. And maybe you know that now only four companies in the world are able to fund financing of any sort of uh, uh, R&D in that field. In our case, it's not so. Uh, that uh, um, our uh, solution uh, offers a new um, opportunities. We also propose the new topology for all, for um, uh, for MEMS and sensors. Uh, no, excuse me, for MEMS and sensors. But we propose it. Uh, we propose it with our technology. I want to tell you that the micro miniaturization has a very high cost. Maybe you know that now the cost of mass from critical layers is up to five hundred thousand dollars and more. In our cases, it's something around twenty times less. And um, I want to have that uh, in projection lithography, uh, there is a very high entry barrier for new players. In our cost of opportunity, uh, cost of ownership is much more less, and because of that, barrier is much lower. Uh, business model. I want to tell you that we try to remain a facet light company. And because of that, we will um, how it's called, get our revenue from two things. From uh, holographic steppers, licensing IP to lithography for two manufacturers, and for mask, licensing software and mask calculator, special mask, cal mask calculator which we developed, to photo mask manufacturers, or calculate uh, this mask by ourselves. Uh, uh, you know, of course, that we have the two big segments in uh, today's lithography, low end and high end. We think that for us will be much more perspective the low end because of that things. Lower barriers to entry, high rate of market growth, lower com uh, competition related to the high end market, and presence of strategic and technological partners. Uh, technology and commercialization. We mm, uh, now we are uh, what we have now. Really, we have theoretical, experimental, proven physical concept SWHO. We come through more than 20 expertise in Europe, in America, and uh, second things. We produce test topology on photoresist. If it will be interesting, of course, I not included in that presentation, but you will be able to. 
ask me here or come to us in Innovation Village on our stand. Uh, we have four Russian patents, one US patent received, two US patent approved, and two US patents application pending. A uh, partnership established with several leading European semiconductor companies that have expressed interest to the project. Uh, what, uh, what is our plans? It's very simple. We, first of all, now we will be able, uh, we want to uh, produce a, labor a labor laboratory stage which will finish, uh, which will produce the demonstrator, which will be possible for us uh, to um, demonstrate all the facility of that new type of technology. After that, if it will be uh, successful, it will be possible for us to produce alpha tool, working, pro pro working prototype without capacity. And after that, it will be possible for us to, if it will be successful, we can come forward to production machine with capacity acceptable for uh, high volume production. Uh, the money and uh, time of, uh, um, for all our milestones you can see on the slide. That is our team. I try to do all things in five minutes. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>